We're part of Swim Deep and we're at The Great Escape and this is enemy.com. We went away for like, I think it was... <laughs> it's four weeks, isn't it? Four weeks and we just kind of like basically lived in the studio, just got up every day, did like, it was like 12 hours a day, but it was really good, it was really like self-contained, we didn't really go out or anything, we were just kind of like a constant working environment and we had loads of like toys and stuff. Like this place is like full of all these amazing instruments and we just kind of just got really engrossed and you know, developed in all of it and yeah. Yeah, we wanted to go back to the same place because it felt like a, to prove that you can still have a constant in something that's changing. And as a band, I feel like this is the most exciting band to be in, if I could choose anyway. Mm. I feel like we're always evolving and it's just, it's just a really exciting time for us to swim deep. We used a lot of the electric sitar. Yeah, there's loads. Um, we, yeah, we did two weeks, one, one on either side of Christmas, and we went back af after Christmas and we just completely switched all the instruments that we yeah. were making. So there's just a, I don't know, just an experiment, I guess. I don't know if it made a difference. So we had stuff as well, like all these crazy percussion things, like a thunder sheet and like an omnichord thing, which we didn't... Like, yeah, the omnichord's great. We had it like the whole time, we just couldn't find anywhere to put it and on the last day we just threw it in somewhere. There's like, like a hundred tracks on one of the tracks. Yeah, one of, one, one of the songs it's has got like a hundred layers. It's good queen gear. It's good gear, the album. It's good to get good gear. It's good gear, good bit of kit. It was, it was a conscious thing because uh, we spent lots of time since the first album came out writing and then like writing more and then thinking, oh, maybe we should do a bit more like this and this and it kind of just built up from the bottom until we got to a point where we were really happy where it was all sounding but then we also like wanted to uh kind of you know the studios where the magic happens or whatever so we really got involved with all this crazy equipment and it just kind of came together but it was you know how we wanted it to sound completely um but we're just really happy with how it sounds now there's a band i guess we're not really into indie it's i, I like the hardcore or like the really misery guts kind of shit like dylan and i don't know Maybe it's not that misery guts actually, but I, I don't really like the middle section. It's too wishy-washy. It doesn't say anything to me. We listened to like there was different tracks had loads of different influences as well. I think there's listened to a lot of air, spiritualized, yeah, yeah um, spiritualized definitely, suicides, lots of like um, like ambient music from like the 80s stuff like Brian Eno and Tangerine Dream and stuff like that. Records that seem to serve a purpose, you know? Yeah. And then we tried to like, we didn't, it's kind of like these are the things we had in the back of our mind and just throwing them all in the mixer and doing Swim Deep. And then there's little touches of, just kind of ideas you pick up from listening to really good albums. But like on the whole, if, I mean, we're doing this thing at the moment where we'd, we we'd keep making playlists of all the songs we were listening to when we we're making the album, and it's literally like 200 songs long, and each and every one of those songs in one way is like been a, an influence. So it's not just like we're picking our favourite songs; it really was really broad what we were listening to. Every Singles time I get drunk, I play the <laughs> whole album. But that never like, happened with the last album. <laughs> actually, I don't know if it's because I was more of a square, but. Um, yeah, every, I don't know, every time I get drunk, I play, so, oh, it's, fucking, think, it's think, kind of embarrassing. I think, like, sat in a pub at 4 a.m. in the morning, <laughs> go like, nah, nah, this bit, man, <laughs> yeah. this bit, this bit. I think bit. everyone we know has heard the album now at 6 in the morning. I think like, you should no play your time. friends the album, you know, the, oh, the whole release date is just a label thing. Yeah. We've got the music, so we're going to play it to people. We play it to people live. and if, if anyone meets us in the pub at 6 in the morning, you can listen to the album. 6 with us. p.m. Actually, it's getting to that point. It's so good. Is it gradually getting earlier on in the night? Everyone should hear it. Everyone, the whole world should hear it. Yeah. I think our favourite in terms of it's just hard and it's great and it's it's just a massive song. It's a Fuego Boogie. Yeah. It's just an, it's like an eight-minute song, but it we've been really playing it live. Like um, but yeah, it's eight and a half minutes long, and it's that's the one that's got like a hundred different tracks on it because yeah. it's just they all mad. but they all individually serve a purpose on the album and they've all got something. They've all got something about them. In fact, when we when we decided the track listing, we made it a conscious thing that there would be no track on the album that wasn't someone's favourite song at one point while we were making it. So that's why we're so happy because we think every single song is our favourite song. So yeah, it could possibly be a really big record. I think. Yeah, it's I mean, it feels exciting, it? really good. Yeah, just from our you know our ears, there's not one song that was just thrown in. There's no filler. Um, in fact, we, it was really we'll hard. To, it was really it. hard to like get it down to a like a sensible tra uh, album length because we just wanted 
like a couple more songs. It's great, man. It's really fucking good. It's great. It's really, it's really good, good, isn't it? It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy. <laughs>